Today we're working on spawning southern Appalachian brook trout. This is a process that will go on to help their populations for years to come. We start to drop the temperature of our trout system a few weeks before we want to start spawning. Like in the wild how their water temperatures would start to drop. This is a trigger for them that gets them, it lets them know that it's almost time to start spawning. We'll pull the fish out of the system when we think they're ready to spawn. We'll anesthetize them just to make the process go more smoothly. Once they're ready, we'll weigh the fish, measure the fish, and take all the data on that. Then we'll dry the fish off because any drop of water into the eggs will mess with the fertilization process. We'll then squeeze the eggs out of the female. It's a pretty gentle process when they're ready to release the eggs. It doesn't hurt them at all. Then we take a male, we do the same thing, we anesthetize the male, we weigh him, we measure him, and then we get the milt out of the male and put that straight onto the eggs. Then we take a salt water mixture and pour that into the eggs and milk solution that we have. The salt water is kind of just to help the sperm swim faster and find the eggs, help in the fertilization process. At that point, we cover the eggs to keep them dark. After five minutes, we will pour off the salt water, rinse the eggs with our cold system water, and then we'll add an ovidine solution to the egg and milk mixture. And that's just like a disinfectant for the eggs. After 15 minutes, we take that mixture, we rinse it out with the trout system water, and then we transfer the eggs into a jar where they'll be covered and they'll stay there to develop for the next several weeks. Our spawning program with our Southern Appalachian Brook Trout is funded by Trout Unlimited. Their program is funded by the trout license plates that they sell for Tennessee. We've been working with them for several years and we couldn't do what we do here without them. Southern Appalachian Brook Trout are an extremely important fish. They're our only native trout to the state. They're actually an indicator species, so if you find a Southern Appalachian Brook Trout in the wild, that's an indication that those waterways are healthy and how they need to be. It is a really long and involved process to you know, take the eggs and raise these trout up until they're large enough to be released. Um, just the fact that you know, we're restoring their populations and we're helping this native trout in the wild, it's just incredible to me. You know, it's just an important part of conservation to try to save these fish and restore their populations for the future.